Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is my review of Any Card at Any Time by Sebastian Matzak and Philippe Molina. Before we do the review, can you please like, can you please subscribe, and can you press the little bell icon if you want to get notified of any times I go live, which currently is 5 o'clock every Thursday evening at UK time, and that's when I do a video on your comments. So if you comment below this video or any of the other videos that I've done recently, uh, I'll probably be able to answer those questions or respond to those comments in a live show. So uh, it's quite nice, it's good fun, and it's quite a long thing. So it's, uh, if you wanna hang out with me on a Thursday evening, come along to that. And do check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's the thing that allows me to do this. My online card magic course, over 400 videos, uh, live sessions every week and new uploads every month uh, for nine ninety nine a month, which is very little. That's the price of four coffees a month. Coffees, yeah, it's four coffees a month um, for that. And at the moment, because it's locked down, you can't go out for a coffee anyway. So you might as well do that. So <laughs> there you go. So, now this is interesting. This is an app, uh, and I was sent this a while ago, and I wasn't drawn to it. Uh, because I made a wrong assumption about this, which makes me glad that I do this show so I can clarify a few things. Any card at any time, I'd, I'd sort of skipped through the the, um, the video of it. I hadn't really looked at it, just to get an idea of what it was. looked at the app and I thought, look, it's just, it's just forcing a time. You know, it's, it's fine. But there's not a lot I can say about it. And then I felt a bit bad because I hadn't looked at it for a long time. So I looked at it over the weekend and actually there's more to it and it's a really interesting thing. So the routine is this, or one of the routines, the one I've been doing. Two decks of cards, uh, you say to the spectator, take any deck of cards you want, shuffle it or not, depending on, again, how you do the routine, and they uh, take a card out, put it on the table, or, or they can just name a card out loud if you want, but for this one, put it on the table, and you go, right, I'm going to try and find your card in my deck of cards, uh, but you've got to time me doing it. So you give me phone, you open the clock app in front of them, and you say, when I found your card, you say stop, you, you stop the clock. So you're looking through the cards, uh, dealing them face up or whatever you want, uh, and you go, they say stop, you found the card, they give you the time that's on the clock, and then you count down that time into the deck that's been untouched on the table, and that matches the time on the clock. And like I said, I thought this was just going to be a way of you know, forcing any number, you press button and force a number, and I think that's going to look a bit weird sometimes. It's really, it's really clever because it always looks really legit. The clock looks really legit. Everything looks as it should. And there are some nice little um, features in there as well so to, to help you along to know what you're doing. And I, I don't want to give too much away, but this uses... Well, you, you'll guess that one of the decks is in a certain way. That's what I'll say. It's, it's in a certain state. And there are certain ways of getting that deck into that state, Pneumonica Aronson. I think I can say that, for, for example, or many others. It uses that. But the important thing is you don't have to know it. You don't have to have the, the, any memory or anything like that where things are. The, the, the thing does it all for you. I'm trying to, I know it's standing garbled, but I don't want to, to I know it's any magicians here, but, and that's, the, that's a really nice thing because I thought, well, I'm going to have to remember where the thing is. And that's fine because I know the stack, but people are just learning, and going, you don't have to know. And that's going to turn a lot of people off. The minute people see you, Monica, Tamara, um, Aronson or anything like that, they think, oh, I've got another stack. You haven't got another stack. As long as the cards are in that order, that's fine. And actually, importantly, the cards can be in absolutely any order because you can program any stack into it. And it's not complicated. I had a look at it for a second. You could, it just talks you through it. You'd be able to put any stack of cards into this you'd like. So you're not limited in that way. And I think it's a really nice thing because when I performed it, to, I know at the moment it's locked down to friends or, you know, my partner and members of my family. There's, they can't really unpick it because if people don't know about Aronson, Mnemonica, or whatever one you use, which they really don't, people don't really think of that way, then if you think about it, they're, they're doing the, the clock, they see you open everything up. The way they do it is makes complete sense it's a kicker because you've done this ring, you found the card or whatever, and you've got the thing of actually, what does it say? And, and if it's like, I don't know, if it's 
two seconds and one millisecond, you might have to add two and the one, but you just add the numbers that are on the phone. It makes complete sense. It doesn't feel like a, a tenuous thing at all. So, you know, they've got to, to suss out how this is done, they would have to know about the state of the cards and have to know about the, and, and, I've, and that's the thing that makes this work. It comes away from the phone, and I've talked about this a lot. It's a bit of it happens on the phone, but then it happens over here. That's left over there, it happens over here, and that's what I didn't like about my idea of what this might be. I think, well, it all happens on the phone. It's a phone thing, it happens on the phone, but the fact that it's, a, it's actually a card trick that uses this, this thing about timing it is completely fine. And it is a really, really strong trick. So I really like this. So on the good point, on the good points, it is strong. It feels different. It gets your phone involved, so it gets them involved. They're kind of pressing the timer or trying to, you know, it, it, it makes a game out of it. It's easy, importantly. The, the, there's very, very little, and I mean very little. I'm, I'm almost sort of, I don't want to say... It's memory work because you've got to remember like four things. But do you know what I mean? It, and, and those make complete sense. Think chased, you know what I mean? Something like that. So it, it, it's easy. I think it's doable nearly anywhere. Obviously, at the moment, it's locked down. So using your phone other than people that are around you is going to be hard. I think there is probably a way to do this online where you say, all right, I'll stop my clock and you say stop. But then they might think, why didn't I just use mine? All that kind of stuff. So it, I think it is more of a... You're doing it with a person. Now, there are things you can use. I think it's Flitch and Inject on this. I didn't go into that because I haven't got Inject, and I, I like to review things just as you get them and once you've, instead of spending loads of money on other apps. And I think as a standalone piece, this is a really solid and, and good fun thing to perform. And it's something you'll, you'll read the instructions, you'll go, along, you'll go into it quite quickly, and you'll be able to do it straight away. There are a couple of things... I kept getting it wrong and going, why have I done that? And I'd forgotten one little step, and it's a very, very simple step. Um, but it's don't worry about that. It's just just make sure you read all the instructions. Instruction-wise, the instructions could have been a little clearer. There's an instructional video, which is actually in French, but translated with an overdubbing in English, which was fine, but it would have been nice to go into a little bit more detail. Someone talking me through every single bit, but it's, you know, the, there's a couple of bits I kind of went, oh, and then, and then I got it quite quickly. So once you play with it, it's fine. And it's not an expensive app. It's not up there with, yes, it's not as good, arguably, as some of the ones that are, that everybody's using online, but they're, it's not 100 quid. It's, I think it, when I looked, it was 22 quid or 23 quid or something like that. And, um, and they are updating the app as they go. There is a really good Facebook page, and I think people are getting a lot of success with it. And I'd have no, again, it's something you can get out when you're in a social situation uh, and, and it, there's no heat on it. It's going to work, you know what I mean? So I think it's a, it's a nice do as, if, it's not a do as I do trick, it's a, it's a, but it uses two decks, and I quite like that. And you don't instantly have to use two decks of cards. There are various ways of doing this. Once you get the idea of what it does, you can start improvising. And he does give you two or three ways of performing this. And, of course, yet again, there's something with a remote control and things like that that, that they go into on the Facebook group. And, and I'm sure they'll ask, answer any questions. As But, you know, these app developers are really good at, you know, if you've got any problems, they do come back to people. And I've looked at the Facebook page, and he is coming back to people when they have any issues, which is always a really good thing. So, uh, yeah, I, I recommend it. It's... Any card at any time, ACAT, A C A A T, uh, on the App Store, and it works on um, uh, iOS and Android, it's called, the other one, isn't it? I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My brain's just fried at the moment. It's Monday, it's locked down, there's children at home, it's half term, that's where we are. But I hope you found that useful. Any questions, any comments, do comment. Like I said, I'll be answering these comments later on in the week. And I'll, I'll, the way my brain's working, I'm bound to have forgotten 20 or 30 things. So uh, it's important that you ask these questions. Take care. Have a good one. See ya. Oh, and uh, check out cardmagiccalls.com. God. Turn it off. <laughs>